Hi, welcome to CAP, Quantum Academy for Physics. So before explaining about the spectral series of hydrogen atom, I want to uh, make you know about the Rydberg constant. Rydberg constant. We know that the total energy when the electron transition takes place between different energy levels, the total energy obtained is initial energy minus final energy okay and what is energy e equals to h nu energy equals to h nu okay which is equal to initial energy minus final energy okay and uh, and in my previous lecture i derived the energy equation for each energy level okay for each energy level I derived the energy equation and it is uh, energy E equals to m e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h square n square. Okay, you just substitute in this equation h nu where nu is a frequency and h is a Planck's constant which is equal to initial energy is m e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h square and initial energy okay that is initial energy level n is a n i is the initial energy level okay minus final energy is m e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h square and f square final energy or final orbit when an ele electron transition takes place from initial orbit to the final orbit okay then h nu is equal to common m e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h square into 1 by n initial square minus 1 by n final energy square okay uh, sorry i think uh, this is final minus initial just to correct it just correct it final minus initial final minus initial energy levels okay then nu is equal to i want to find out the frequency frequency so that nu is equal to m e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h square into h power 1 is h cube into 1 by n final square minus n initial square okay and what is nu nu is is inversely proportional to the wavelength right from this formula okay you just substitute nu as 1 by lambda uh, 1 by lambda equals m e power 4 by 8 epsilon square h cube into 1 by n final square minus n initial square okay See in this equation, mass m is the mass of the electron, e is the charge of the electron, epsilon naught is the permeability of free space, h is a Planck's constant. All the terms involved here are constants. Okay, and if you substitute all the terms, and uh, you just uh, solve. Okay, if you substitute all these uh, terms, that is mass of electron, electron and um, e is the charge epsilon naught and h Planck's constant you just substitute all the constant values okay and derive it finally you will obtain um, a value which is equal to 1.09 into 10 power 7 into 10 power 7 which is nothing but Rydberg constant r okay so this m e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h cube is Rydberg constant r whose value is 1.09 into 10 power 7 per meter and units for Rydberg constant is per meter ok now you just substitute here nu equals to r into nu is equal to r into 1 by n f square minus 1 by n i square where n f and n i are 
final orbit and initial orbit okay and you just substitute this new as 1 by lambda 1 by lambda equal to r into 1 by n final square minus 1 by n initial square this formula this formula is known as balmer's formula balmer's formula why because ba balmer derived this formula okay when an electron transition takes place from initial energy level to the final energy level okay then the wavelength obtained then the wavelength obtained e is equal to 1 by r 1 by lambda e is equal to r times where this r is Rydberg constant Rydberg rg Rydberg constant whose value is 1.09 into 10 power 7 per meter into 1 by n final square minus 1 by n initial square you just remember this formula we will use this formula uh, while deriving about the spectral series while deriving the spectral series of hydrogen atom spectral series spectral series of hydrogen atom spectral series of hydrogen atom you just write it completely okay i already told you in our previous lecture that when an electron transition takes place from one energy level to another energy level the obtained spectrum belongs to the electromagnetic radiation okay so Bohr observed that when an electron of hydrogen atom moves from lower energy to higher energy level or higher energy to lower energy level you will obtain a spectral series spectral series is nothing but when an electron moves from one energy level to another energy level what is happening here the spectrum obtained is belongs to uv region as well as ir region and visible region visible region far ir near ir region okay this lines uh, the spectral lines which belongs to uv region is uh, one spect one spectral series okay and the spectral lines which belongs to I ir region is another spectral series and coming to visible region is another spectral series you will obtain different spectral series you will obtain sp different spectral series of different wavelengths okay so hydrogen atom is a simple atom hydrogen atom is a simple atom why why because it consists of one electron and one proton okay so around the nucleus in this nucleus only one pr proton is present around this nucleus the electron will revolve okay so whenever whenever the electron transition takes place from one energy level to another energy level it will emit different wavelengths okay this different wavelengths gives us different spectral series okay i will explain the different spectral series of hydrogen atom in this lecture and coming to the hydrogen atom hydrogen atom okay we will have we have five types of spectral series we have five types of spectral series okay spectral series first one is Lyman Lyman series Lyman series next one is Balmer Balmer spectral series passion spectral series bracket spectral series and the last one is fond fond spectral series fond spectral series these are the five spectral series of hydrogen atom i will explain in detail about one after another coming to the lyman spectral series 
ओके वेन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन वेन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन जेम्स फ्रॉम आउटर ऑर्बिट वेन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन जेम्स फ्रॉम आउटर ऑर्बिट टू द फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट ओके दिस इज फर्स्ट एनर्जी लेवल सेकेंड एनर्जी लेवल एंड द लास्ट दैट इज आउटर ओके सो ऑन आउटर एनर्जी लेवल ओके सो फर्स्ट सेकेंड सो ऑन आउटर एनर्जी लेवल सो वेन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन जेम्स फ्रॉम आउटर ऑर्बिट टू द फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट ओके द ऑप्टेन स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज इज नोन एज लाइमन स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज ओके एंड कमिंग टू द फॉर्मुला वन बाय लैमडा इज इक्वल टू आर इंटू वन बाय एन फाइनल स्क्वेर माइनस एन इनिशियल स्क्वेर सो वॉट इज एन इनिशियल हियर एन आई एन आई इज इक्वल टू वन ओके फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट सो एन आई इज इक्वल टू वन हियर एन एफ एंड एन आई आर इंटीजर्स ओके एंड कमिंग टू एन एफ एन एफ इज टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सो वन ओके हाइयर एनर्जी लेवल्स वेन एन इलेक्ट्रॉन जम्स फ्रॉम सेकेंड ऑर्बिट टू फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट थर्ड ऑर्बिट टू फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट फोर्थ ऑर्बिट टू फिफ्थ फर्स्ट फिफ्थ टू फर्स्ट एंड सो ऑन ओके देन द ऑप्टेन स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज इज नोन एज लाइमन स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज ओके एंड दिस स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज इज ऑप्टेन इन यू वी रीजियन यू वी रीजियन यू जस्ट राइट द सेंटेंसेस ओके द लाइमन स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज इज ऑप्टेन इन यू वी रीजियन राइट द डेफिनेशन एज वेन an electron jumps from the higher energy levels to the first orbit then the obtained spectrum is spectral series is known as lyman series and this lyman series is obtained in uv region okay and coming to the formula 1 by lambda is equal to r into n f square minus n i square this n i is first orbit one so n f is 2 3 so on okay this is about lyman series and coming to the balmer series second one is balmer series write the definition as when an electron jumps from the higher orbit to the second orbit higher orbit to the second orbit when an electron jumps from the higher orbit to the second orbit then the obtained series of lines the obtained series of spectral lines is known as balmer series and this series of spectral lines is obtained in visible region okay the obtained spectral series it will be observed in visible region only okay and coming to the formula uh, i won't write uh, repeatedly you just uh, copy it okay n1 sorry n in shell is equal to two second orbit okay okay second orbit initial is second orbit final sorry so sorry, sorry no no sorry no no n final this these are initial orbits and final orbit is second and final is two and initial is 3 4 5 and so on You just uh, correct in our uh, Lyman series also. In Lyman series, n final is equal to one, n initial is equal to two, three, and so on. You just place uh, correct it. Okay, this is about Balmer series. Okay, the obtained region is visible region, and the electron jumps from higher energy orbit to the second orbit, so that n final will be two, and n initial will be two, three, four, and so on. next one is third one is passion all these are the scientist names na na okay the scientists observed all these uh, different types of spectral series okay so that uh, we had given the spectral series in the in those names only in those names of the scientists only okay coming to the passion when an electron jumps from the higher energy orbits to the to the third level 
higher energy orbits to the third energy level okay or third orbit that is n final will be equal to 3 and n initial will be equal to 4 5 and so on okay when an electron jumps from the uh, higher energy orbits to the third orbit okay then the obtained spectral series is known as passion passion spectral series okay and this spectral series will be observed in near infrared region near infrared region okay this this spectral series which was obtained in near infrared region is named of the scientist passion okay so from the formula final and f is equal to 3 and initial will be equal to 4 5 6 7 so on this is about passion series next fourth one is bracket b r a c k e t t bracket spectral series bracket spectral series okay the series uh, the series of lines which are obtained in infrared region this series or spectral series because of the transition of electron from the higher orbits to the fourth orbit fourth orbit from higher energy levels to the fourth energy level okay and this series of spectral lines will be obtained in infrared region okay first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh so on okay higher energy orbits to the fourth energy orbit when this electron transition takes place from higher energy levels to the fourth energy level then the obtained series of spectral lines belongs to this bracket spectral series and this will be obtained in infrared region so nf is equal to 4 and ni is equal to 5 6 7 8 and so on this is about bracket spectral series and the last one is phone series we have few and phone series phone series of spectral lines of hydrogen atom when an electron transition takes place from higher energy levels to the fifth orbit 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. When the electron transition takes place from higher energy levels to the fifth energy level, then the obtained spectral series is known as phone spectral series. Phone spectral series, therefore, n final will be equal to 5 and n initial will be equal to 6, 7, 8 and so on okay and this spectral series is obtained in far far infrared region for ir region or far infrared region this is about the spectral series of the hydrogen atom once again i will explain you with a neat diagram as we move from the ground state to the higher energy levels what happens the energy levels appears to merge with each other and as we move from higher energy level to the sorry ground state to the higher energy levels okay this is a ground state first excited state second excited state third fourth fifth sixth and so on okay now coming to the Lyman series the electron transition takes place from higher energy levels to the ground state okay the obtained spectrum is known as Lyman series 
okay this will be observed in this will be observed in uv region uv region and next one balmer series then it, the electron transition takes place from higher energy levels to the first excited state or second orbit this is first orbit second third orbits okay first orbit second orbit n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 or ground state n is equal to 2 or first excited state n is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 n equal to 5 6 so on and infinity n is equal to infinity okay here the obtained spectrum is balmer balmer spectral series and this uh, series is uh, obtained in visible region visible region and next one is uh, when an electron transition takes place from higher energy levels to the third orbit to the third orbit the obtained spectral series is known as passion series it's passion series of spectral lines and this will be obtained in near infrared region okay and next one when the electron transition takes place from higher energy orbit to the fourth orbit the obtained spectral series is bracket bracket spectral series which will be obtained in infrared region coming to the last fifth one when the electron transition takes place from higher energy levels to the fifth orbit the obtained spectrum series is phone spectral series which will be obtained in for infrared region okay this is about the spectral series of hydrogen atom according to Bohr. We finally got the spectral series of hydrogen atom is a little easy comparing to the remaining atoms. Why? Because this hydrogen atom consists of only uh, one electron and one proton. So that the interaction is taking place in between electron and proton. Here the electrostatic force is because of electron and proton only electrostatic force electrostatic force is uh, because of one electron and one proton only okay uh, the interaction is in between one electron and one proton only coming to the helium atom and uh, remaining other atoms it contains uh, more than one electrons helium contains more than one electron and one proton okay so the interaction takes place in between electron proton and as well as electron electron the interaction is in between electron proton as well as and as well as electron electron okay therefore therefore the spectrum obtained uh, is be just because of the interaction between electron proton and electron electron okay here we can't differentiate the different spectral series okay why because the interaction is because of electron proton and electron electron that is the electrostatic force uh, is because of electron proton and as well as electron electron so we can't uh, differentiate the different spectral series it will be difficult so uh, Bohr only given as the spectral series of hydrogen atom not the spectral series of different atoms that is remaining atoms okay